In this video lesson, we're going to demonstrate how to stretch the diaphragm, the left and right sides of the diaphragm together, the two diaphragm muscles that come together. And it's not often thought of that we need to stretch the diaphragm, but if we have a client that tends to hyperventilate inward and or hold their breath in, they tend to be tightening their diaphragm. Now let's just first review how the diaphragm works. The diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that attaches circumferentially around the lower rib cage on the inside and comes up to the center in a central dome of fibrous tissue. When the diaphragm contracts concentrically and shortens, either the dome drops down and or the rib cage lifts up and outward. So it makes sense that if we want to stretch the diaphragm, we either want to contract that rib cage in toward the center and collapse it inward and or push the dome of the diaphragm up. And we can try and affect both of those. So let's demonstrate this with a lateral view. We have our client Justin seated here on this bench. And what we're going to look to do is since the diaphragm contracts and shortens with a breath in, then we need to work with a breath out. Now to have an unobstructed view, and for other reasons that will become clear in a moment, can you flex your trunk, your spine forward, get your arms a little forward so we can see the anterior abdominal wall here? I want you to take a breath in, and now I want you to give me a good, strong, sustained breath out. And I want you to give me a, a pulling in with the abdomen. He pushes in an abdominal contents. They push up against the diaphragm. The dome of the diaphragm is pushed upward. It's stretched upward. At the same time, I want you to think about pulling that rib cage down. Now take another breath in. And once again, when you breathe in, you can let that belly come out. But now I want you to breathe out and suck in, pull the navel toward the spine and compress the rib cage down. And now we can say this, the position of flexion of the spine here helps to drop that rib cage down. So one more time, breathe in, let the belly expand out. And now breathe out, pulling that belly in and pulling that rib cage down. And there we go, you can sit comfortably now. And that is an effective stretching protocol for the diaphragm.